Hi, this is Dr. Kolodenko, and I wanted to talk about the laterality when describing the foot and trying to pinpoint exactly the areas of pain. This is the left foot. Um, if you can imagine that this is the midline of your body, and so anything close to the midline is going to be medial, and then away from the midline is going to be lateral. So if you split the foot in half, this part would be the medial side, and this would be the lateral side. This is the hallux, also referred to as the great toe, and this is going to be toe number one, number two, three, four, and five. They each have a corresponding metatarsal to them. This will be metatarsal number one, where the big toe joint is at, number two, three, four, five. Each one of them has an inner space. This is inner space number one, number two, number three, and number four. There are tendons involved. This is the extensor tendons right up top. This is the extensor tendon to the hallux, extensor hallucis longus. And these are the tendons to the digits, extensor digitorum longus. Here is the medial malleolus. This is the lateral malleolus, or also known as the fibula. And on this side, you'll also find the sinus tarsi. The plantar aspect of the foot is the bottom. And this is the bottom of the first metatarsal phalangeal joint, uh, where the two sesamoids reside, typically. The posterior tibial tendon comes around here and inserts mostly onto the navicular. The anterior tibial tendon is right over here. And that inserts at the dorsal, the top of the foot. When it comes to description of the nails or the uh, borders of the nails, again, this is going to be medial because it's closer to the midline, and this is lateral. The Achilles tendon inserts right here at the back of the heel, or also known as the calcaneus. This little bump right here is the fifth metatarsal base where the perineus brevis typically inserts. So on the right foot, this would be the medial side, this is the lateral side, this is the medial ankle gutter, uh, right by the medial malleolus. Right here is going to be the lateral ankle gutter. Right over here where I'm pointing at the lateral ankle gutter is the most common place for a ligament to tear during an ankle sprain. It's known as the anterior talofibular ligament. And it's the most common one to rip or strain during an ankle sprain. There's a, two other ones. There's the calcaneofibular, which is on the bottom. Uh, it's from the heel bone to the fibula, and then there's another one on the posterior aspect. Right back here is where the perineal tendons lie as well. Looking at the bottom of the left foot, what you could see is this is the first metatarsal head. Sometimes people refer to this as the ball of the foot. And then there are metatarsal heads on every single one underneath the toes. Typically, when people develop metatarsalgia or capsulitis, there'll be pain right underneath here.